How's it going everyone? Paul with Adaptable Survival. What I want to do in today's episode is take a look at the Marine Corps three season sleeping bag along with this compression bag. Stick with me as we take a look. All right, so with this part of the current issue Marine Corps sleeping system, this is the three season bag, and I'll run through all the specs once we get on the ground here, get it on top of the emergency blanket so we can take a look at it. I wanted to talk about the dry bag that I have it stored in. Now there's two different dry bags that come with uh, this particular system. Uh, this brown bag works really well with the three season or the black bag by itself. Not necessarily the greatest when you add both of them into this bag. Uh, makes it extremely difficult to get in there. I've gotten it once, but it wasn't really seamed very well, or closed up really well, I should say. But when I review the black bag, um, I will talk about the other compression bag that comes with this and then show you stuffed with both bags. But I wanna talk about this dry bag that doubles as a compression bag. Uh, it is made by C-Line, so hopefully this comes in here you can see the NSN number there what I really like about this dry bag this compression bag is this air vent here so as I compress this the air gets pushed out then you just have some buckles on the side the system is made in the United States so that's always good to back that but this just rolls open now we just have our compression bag dry bag you could use this for a variety of things outside of just the sleeping bag. And then inside here, I do have the sleeping bag itself. Um, on the bottom side, you can see those straps are just stitched in there. Then there's just a black panel that it appears they just glued on. It doesn't look like it is stitched at all. So um, I haven't had any issues of that coming off. Uh, there's a little pocket on the front here, which I assume there was like a manual or repair kit, something stored in there. I didn't get that with this, so I don't know for sure what comes in that pouch there. Uh, but let me get the emergency blanket set up and then we'll talk. So I just have the bag laid out on this 5x7 emergency blanket. Now, just some of the specs in regards to this three season bag. It has two and a half pounds, so it isn't the most light bag out there. But with this being a polyester, you know, um, synthetic filled uh, bag, the benefits of that is if this does happen to get wet, it will dry out significantly faster than a down bag or if you're using like a wool blanket. Um, there is a antimicrobial liner in here, so helps kind of reduce some of the worries when it comes to bacteria. This is a center zip bag. So you can hop inside, zip it up right in the middle. Uh, there are two zipper pulls on here. I'll zoom in here and show you those in a second, but there's a nice you know, collar over that. So once you have this zipped up, you can just flip that over. No worries about drafting coming through the zipper at all. This is made in the USA. Like I did state, I will throw the NSN number across the screen. Now they give a temperature rating on this bag of 20 plus degrees. Last, uh, about two weekends ago, I was out here for a class and it got down into about the mid thirties um, and I was getting a little chilly. I could sleep for the majority of the night, but I did get a little bit cold. Uh, so that is something to be aware of. Now, I don't know if one of these brand new is going to be good, 20 plus. Um, this one, like I said, is a military surplus, so it is used. Um, you can definitely tell because there's some staining on the inside. A few tabs are broken. Nothing major, but I'm sure that the insulation isn't quite up to standard as it was when this thing was brand new. So that could impact that temperature rating as well. Now, what I did want to show is just the center zip a little bit more so this does come with plastic wrapping over the cordage so if your hands are nice or your hands are getting cold not nice and cold because who wants cold hands but if your hands are cold you can easily grab this pull this up pull it down get in your bag as quickly as you need there is a little snap closure at the top here if you do want to get all bundled up once you're inside 
And on the inside here, there is a little draft collar. So you can crawl in here, tuck that in there, or you wanted to crawl inside here, you can tuck in there that way. I typically just lay right on top of that and then just crawl in, zip it all the way up. Like I said, this length is good for those up to 5'11". This is the regular length. There is a long version, so if you are six foot, uh, I can't remember if it's 6'7 or 6'11". One of the two, um, I'll throw the exact length for the long up across the screen here. Uh, but it's gonna be this exact same bag, just longer, obviously. So, like I said, I really have enjoyed using this bag. I've been using this bag for about two years now. Uh, three season is ideal. Uh, no, there is the tag, like the NSN number and everything on the inside here. Yeah. So, as you can see, that tag is pretty worn out. Can't really read a whole lot on there, but um, gives you the NSN number, how to, you know, use and care of it, everything like that. So, uh, let me zoom back out here and we will stuff it back in the compression bag. So we'll stuff the bag back in. Typically what I'll do is I'll just zipper this up, make my life a little bit easier. And now, anytime that I stuff a sleeping bag into a compression bag, storage bag, anything like that, I start with the foot box and start stuffing it from there. Because as I go to the top where the opening is, any excess air is being pushed out. Now I simply come here, fold this over, and then push out that, that air. Hopefully that's coming up over the mic. That's all just coming out of this front vent here. pushing all that air out of there. I can come here, snap that up, and realistically you can get this pretty compact for a uh, synthetic insulated sleeping bag. Sorry, I had a little bit of a brain fart there. Uh, so, I mean, this is pretty small in comparison. Um, the one downside that I've always had with compression bags, uh, especially the old one from the MMS sleep system, is it just turns your sleeping bag into pretty much a big basketball, uh, which it's got pros and cons in your pack, but um, I do like this one because then I can compress this down, stick it at the bottom, still get that big round shape, but at least most of my packs, this takes up the bottom of the bag. So as I said, this is a military surplus item. Both of these are, so you can find them in a variety of places. I got both of mine off of eBay. The sleeping bag, I've seen it in the range of about $80 and up, uh, depending on condition. The compression bag, I've seen as low as 25, uh, but generally between like 30 and 40, uh, depending on condition. Uh, I've seen a few new ones for about 35 bucks not too long ago. Uh, you can find these from other um, surplus dealers online as well. Uh, so it just takes a little bit of looking around, or if you do know someone that is in the Marine Corps, they might be able to source you one um, if, they have an extra one laying around but i have really really enjoyed this for three seasons now with three seasons my performance with it has been kind of mixed i can get down to like i said about mid 30s before i'm starting feeling a chill throughout the night and that is with a sleeping pad that is rated down to about 26 degrees so i shouldn't have too many issues of heat loss through my sleeping pad now I don't know if that is because these are used, so the insulation is kind of beat up and a little bit worn out. So I, I want to track down a brand new one, test it out and see how that one does, just so I get the full comprehension of the system. But for a used bag for three seasons, like late spring to early fall, this works really, really well. Because if I need something when it's colder, I can always use the black bag. And like I said, I will do that video, so that part two video will come out in the next I would say probably sometime in December, so about a month from now. And I will show you 
both of these systems used together. In the comment section down below, let me know if you used the Marine Corps sleep system, the current issue. If you are in the Marine Corps, let me know how it's fared uh, in the variety of climates. Or if you haven't tried this one, definitely let me know what military sleep systems you prefer. As y'all know, gear junkie, so I'm always on the search for some new stuff. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe that gets more eyes on the channel. Helps bring those people into our community so we can grow our knowledge base and learn together and grow together. As always, this has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.